वेलकम बैक लर्नर्स एज यू नो दैट वी आर स्टडिंग चैप्टर टेन मोशन एंड मेजरमेंट ऑफ डिस्टेंसेस एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज मूविंग थिंग्स अराउंड अस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थिंक ऑफ सम ऑब्जेक्ट्स यू हैव सीन रिसेंटली दीज मे इंक्लूड अ स्कूल बैग अ मस्कीटो अ टेबल पीपल सिटिंग ऑन चेयर और पीपल मूविंग अबाउट दिस लिस्ट मे इंक्लूड एनिमल्स लाइक डॉग काउ योर हैंड बटरफ्लाई a small baby a fish in water a house a factory a piece of stone a horse a ball a bat a moving train a swing machine a wall clock or hands of a clock so these all objects are around us now which of these objects are moving and which are at rest it's very easy to find out have a look we have a table and we have marked all of it those object which are at rest they are house table the clock while the objects which are in motion they are a flying bird second hand the second hand of a clock okay you will even able to mark the difference between the minute hand and the hour hand because the minute hand is faster you will observe it moving now not only this but also a horse okay a moving train if a swing machine is being used by someone so these are also in motion a stone a dog if it's sitting definitely it's at rest so in this manner we can classify object around us on the basis whether they are moving or whether they are at rest now let's have a detailed discussion on it students first of all motion if some object is in mo in movement then we say it is in motion we can define motion as change in position of an object with time okay with respect to time if an object changes its position definitely called as motion and uh, motion can be divided into many types depending what type of movement an object shows first of all here you can see rectilinear motion now you may have observed the motion of a vehicle on a straight road march past of soldiers in a parade or falling of a stone look in these all examples along with a 100 meter race in which athletes are just running in a straight track what's common these all are following a straight line motion and such type of motion is known as rectilinear motion now you can summarize that such a motion in which an object will move along a straight line as i said in various example they all will be called rectilinear motion you can see these vehicles moving on highway they are moving on a straight road that's why they are in rectilinear motion and also these soldiers who are doing march past now let's move to the next type of motion that's on your screen it's circular motion the name itself suggest such type of motion in which an object is moving in a circular path okay that will be called circular motion now you can see some examples on your screen first of all a bullock it's just moving around this well so circular motion and look at the wheel this wheel is also moving so it's also showing the circular motion fan it's also a type of circular motion then you can see wind vane is here so it also rotates so shows a circular motion now you can see fan table fan the blades of table fan they shows the circular motion now let me tell you some interesting thing sometime it may happen that an object may be showing both circular motion as well as straight line motion that is the rectilinear motion think that you are drive you are just riding a bicycle on a straight road then the cycle is following rectilinear motion but the wheel of cycle they are doing circular motion so this was that let's move to the next topic that's the third type of motion and student it's periodic motion when an object repeat its motion after some time okay this type of motion is called periodic motion so basically in this motion 
the movement will be repeated after a fixed interval of time here you can see some example a branch of tree moving to and fro okay motion of child on a swing sting of guitar or membrane of drum tabla any instrument that has been played these all are example of periodic motion where the object or part of it repeat it repeats its motion after a fixed interval of time now think about uh, the rotation of earth we know that earth rotates at its axis so that is also a type of periodic motion it's also a circular motion okay so there are some motions of objects which which can be defined as circular motion as well as periodic motion the revolution of earth around the sun that is also a periodic motion as well as a circular motion so the hands of clock students the hands of clock let's say the second hand okay that is moving in a circular motion but as well as that is a periodic motion because it repeats its motion after a fixed interval of time the pendulum in a clock you can see in the picture here is the pendulum so it just swings to and fro this is also showing periodic motion in this manner we can classify the motion shown by various object around us into three categories they were rectilinear motion then we studied circular motion and finally periodic motion and now you can understand that some object may show two or more motion two or more types of motion at the same time the change in this position can be determined through distance measurement also this allow us to know who's moving faster or who's moving slower look at the clock and now observe the minute hand and the hour hand you will easily able to find out which is moving faster and which is moving slower now students the movement of snail on ground okay a butterfly that is flying from one flower to other river flowing an aeroplane flying moon going around the earth the blood flowing inside our bodies show that there is motion everywhere around us and we can classify all these types of motion as per the three categories so this was in the chapter we have completed it revise it wherever you are having difficulty just raise your queries that's all for today